All right, guys, we want to find out the answer to two questions today that are very, very important. The markets have been bloody. Could we go a lot lower or have we bottomed out? Is that now the time to get in? We're going to talk about that. And there is a clear, sh today was a, a, a very clear uh, resurgence of a very popular narrative. And today we're going to talk about what the narrative is because normally, as you know, we always want to be one step ahead of everybody else and jump on that narrative. But today I'm going to tell you why I may decide to fade it and the decisions behind that. It's very, very important. So you do not want to miss this one, guys. Make sure you stay tuned to the whole thing because there will be so much alpha that you, it, might be, it might be hard to, to take it all in. You might have to rewind a few times, but you just definitely make sure that you like and destroy and smash that like button and share with all your friends, guys, because it is 5.30 in the morning and I haven't slept yet. I'm making a video. And I, I like, it took me hours to do this. I was like falling asleep making the video. It's crazy. Um, but I figured that like, you, you have to know what's going on. Like, this is important stuff, right? So, um, so if you appreciate that, make sure you destroy that like button. Oh, and I, I didn't pull it up, guys, but uh, there will be the link in the description. Uh, let's see if I can do it right now. Is it open? Oh, no, no, we can see. Uh, well, I think there's like one day left to vote, guys. Let's, let's see how we're doing this open campus thing. 100, where is this thing? Open campus, this one. Please don't do something crazy. Yeah, so here, leaderboard, let's see. Uh, I'm here under this one because if you guys are new to the channel, uh, I got nominated for to be this awesome thing. And uh, let's see, where, where, come on, come on, come on, guys. Where are we? 21, okay. It's, not, it's better than 24, but guys, come on. Let's go up, 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 please. It, it, it'll, it'll help us as a channel to get more alpha, and we will win more. And we're we're going to do it anyway. If they do, uh, if they do this next year, guys, we're gonna, everyone's going to be so... Yeah, it just we've just been crushing it. Anyway, guys, go vote again if you can. I, I don't know if you can or not, but um, remember tell your friends, like your family. Uh, these guys are just clearly using bots because, no, I don't, I don't know. They they might be amazing people. Who knows? Um, but anyway, uh, so and if you're new to the channel, welcome. About time you're here. Uh, Bitcoin, like I said, chopping sideways. Am I doing anything? No, absolutely not. Is it going to go lower or higher? I don't, I don't know right now. Um, I, I don't really care. I don't really care because. I'll tell you one thing though for sure. It's like once it solidly breaks above like seventy seventy thousand dollars on a on a on a weekly, it's never going below that price ever again, right? And that is pretty pretty damn sure of that. So, I mean, a, exception of a, of a black swan or something. But the point is, is that most likely in Bitcoin's lifetime, you will never see it at these prices ever again. So. If you happen to get really lucky on the, your latest shitcoin casino gamble and it popped 30x, buy some Bitcoin right now. Do it. I dare you. It might it'll feel so good. I promise you to have like a, a very scarce, rare, precious item. Uh, I didn't you guys didn't say the screen, but you don't need to see the screen. It's just a stupid chart. Like this precious little Bitcoin that's just that you can't really hold, but you can imagine what it feel like if you're holding it and just like, and then you, you have a little Satoshi over here with one. One one hundred millionth of a Bitcoin, and, and you, you start stacking those until you get a full Bitcoin, and you have one full Bitcoin, which means that you will be in the top one percent. You know that I forget what the, the status, but if you I think if you have a quarter of a Bitcoin, you will be you will be in Bitcoin terms richer than uh, you think you'll be in the one, top one percent of people on the planet or something like that. Or maybe it's even crazier. So, guys, stack your sats while Bitcoin's still cheap. Use all the crazy alpha and sick gains that we've been getting in this, in this, okay? Because what, what will happen if you don't end up taking some of these profits from these like really degenerate plays that we make that are this absolutely crushing it? Is that you'll put them in another degenerate play that will do, and you're just gonna keep getting this behavior of never taking profit into something that's valuable. Now, I'm not suggesting that you take it into USD or stable coins, right? Like, no, 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 no. We still want exposure to the crypto market right now, um, and, and volatility is okay. But at the end of the day, if things, without forewarning, just drop through the roof, you have, you have Bitcoin, right? And that's gonna, that, that will sustain value more than any other crypto in the market, for sure. Um, and yeah, and that, that's, that's, that's what I, I do, right? My goal is to what measure my, my net worth in Bitcoin terms, not in dollar, not in 
any other altcoin. I want to know how many Bitcoin I have. And I'll tell you a story um, as we get into this too. It's absolutely, it'll, it'll, it'll make you cry a little bit <laughs> probably. So um, this year, guys, a this, this bull market alone, uh, we've had, see, this is the FTX crash, bottom of the market right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so far, six pretty good sized pullbacks. Um, yeah, and the other ones have been, uh, well, extra 7%, 20, this was, is it 2% or 22%? 22, okay. It's dead, it's dead, it's dead. Um, and this one so far has been 10%, but I don't know, guys. I don't know. Right now, I, like I said, don't, don't, just don't use spot. We had a lot of, a, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these pullbacks in, um, I was on this chart before, by the way, here, if you didn't see the screen. Um, and, and just like, uh, you know, just remember s margin, uh, unless you're, unless you're a professional trader, leverage is very dangerous and we like to gamble with it. Sometimes if you can afford to gamble some, some spare change and it's fun. Sometimes and you guys will see me do that again more when there's a clear momentum. This is, I would, I'm, I am the worst trader in the world already. And then comp compound that into a volatile market where there's no clear um, trend going up or down. I'm just useless. I might as well, I might as well just give you. Just I don't. I don't even play the game. Just take take my money. Like and then and the uh, the sad thing is like when you say when we say take this like in the VC world or when you say take my money, it's like shut up and, and just give me. I, I want to invest in this project. I don't need. I don't need to hear anything else. Just take my money. Um, and usually that's that's a good thing, right? <laughs> because. Uh, you know, you're going to get tokens back from that investment. But uh, in this case, it, it just, you're not going to get anything. So just wait, save your time and stress. Just give me, give me money instead, unless you're, unless you're a professional trader. And with that being said, use my affiliate link down in the description below. <laughs> Go trade right now. <laughs> 100x, woo! <laughs> oh, the irony, the irony. Um, okay, so, uh, okay, and, uh, you know, you guys know how I feel about charts, right? Like, um, so James M. Stratton says, we've now had uh, four pre-halvings for Bitcoin, meaning four, yeah, four pre-halvings in, in Bitcoin's life. Um, and they all, they've all drawn charts with lines and triangles and squiggly things, and RWAs and QLLs and 50, 50 days averages on the moves, um, and the lowest on the non hanging, hanging triangle and the golden cross with the breakout to the upside. Um, and, uh, and it's normal. And we have volatility. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a volatile asset class because we're still tiny. You're early. You're still early. If you're watching this, you're early. Congratulations. I get it's, I mean, I was in space 12 years ago. And can you believe it? You're still early. You are still early. It's amazing. I mean, the, there's still people who don't even, don't even know, like, don't even know what the hell this is, basically. Like, they know it's like, it, now everyone knows like Bitcoin exists. But like, it's, they're not, they're not consumed by this idea. Like what's going on here? Like we, we, we are right. Probably you guys watching this. Like, so, you know, I, I'm not a fan of these, uh, of these charts so much. Um, you know, cause this one goes, oh, and, and, and don't get me wrong. I wrecked capital. I, I use these guys, his charts all the time. Phenomenal. His, hers, I don't know. Them, they, she, I, oh, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Okay. Um, it's guys, I'm delirious. It's, uh. Almost, almost six in the morning. So, um, yeah, I, I just, I just, because, because what I like to do, is I don't like to trade, right? I like to fundamentally, I swing trade, right? Like I make plays, right? I make, I make plays. Like my meme coin plays are plays. And, uh, and we'll talk about that actually in this video a little bit. Um, and, and, I'll, and you can see, you can see why I do this. Like, I, I, I I'm just not impressed by these, like, and it's not because I'm, oh, I'm so good at making money. I mean, I am, but like in this market, if you hone your skills, you watch this channel, you pay attention, like something like 10, 20, 30% shouldn't, shouldn't be impressive to you. And like, yes, if you can do it on a consistent basis over a lot of time, but you know, then a lot of stress and you have to learn professionally and it's a very costly, uh, skill set to learn and blah, blah, blah. Or you could just fundamentally park allocate your capital into things and try to make high conviction plays. And that is, that is a philosophy that I like to work with. And um, it has worked out very well for me in my life. And uh, I've never, ever been a trader. Um, I just, I just, uh, I, I, did, I tried for like a day. And I was like, just the most stressful thing one could do <laughs> to themselves. Like, um, but 
if you're playing for fun, it's not stressful, right? Like if, if like, like when I show my screen, I'm gonna show my trades. Like this is, and sometimes, and I have gotten a little carried away. You guys saw like uh, after the Bitcoin ETF, I thought I was like, fuck it, long, <laughs> let's go all in. Whew. Uh, I had to put up so much capital to prevent myself from losing so much money. I was, I didn't get liquidated, and I wrote it back up. But like, it's not a, not a good feeling, guys. Don't don't get there. Um, and yeah, anyway, so that's my my own. I'm I'm just teaching myself a lesson right now, or, or I've already learned. Yeah. I'm, uh, reaffirming my lesson to myself here. Um, so you can see there's a, a, a different here, another chart that's different. Uh, in the last bull run, it broke all time high with haste. Up this, and now we broke up all time high, and then people got confused like, what? Wait, it wasn't supposed to happen that soon. Wait, no, let's just let's chill. Wait, wait, the halving hasn't happened yet. Hold on, wait, no, let's just chop sideways, make sure that we don't break the trend of the past. We can't like get all carried away now that ETFs are here, right? Um, so, whatever. Let, like, like we're still crushing it in alts. Right? Let, let Bitcoin do its thing, and when your alts appreciate greatly compared to Bitcoin, again, that's you're buying Bitcoin for cheaper. It doesn't matter what the dollar dollar value is, right? If you went into Degen or yeah, Degen and you're up like how many Rexers we are now, 10, 12, 30, 50, I don't know. But if you're like if you got in there when we did, like then you can take those profits and put them into Bitcoin because Bitcoin's even cheaper now because. You took, let's say, stablecoin, and you put it in a degen. That hundred dollars that you put in there turned into thousand dollars, and now you're thousand. Now you, now you have thousand dollars of purchasing power for that bitcoin versus the hundred you started with. See what I mean? Jelly bean? Yes. Rupert. People suge are suggesting that we make Rupert our dog. I mean, Rupert, you want to be a meme? No, he just wants to. He wants to go to the bank. He's like, hurry up, Dad. Finish the video. Fucking <laughs> six a.m. Go to bed. Let's go to bed. Um, all right, so. Uh, so Mr. At 100, we've talked about on the channel before many times. Um, this this guy, entity, nation state, you know, rich porn star. I don't I don't know who it is. Uh, so, someone is is buy like a bunch of Bitcoin since I think November 2022. I think has been buying on average 100 Bitcoin every single day now. Um, and they've dubbed this wallet the Mr. 100, and a lot of speculation around it being like a Middle Eastern country, or some people say it's gonna be like some exchange. I don't think this is an exchange. Like this is. I mean, unless they're money laundering, yeah, that could make sense, right? Money, because you have capital restraints within China and you can't really take it out. But if you could launder it through your exchange, get it into Bitcoin, then maybe it makes sense. But man, congratulations, whoever you are, who could afford to do that. Like you, bravo. Two point, so in the last four days, has bought up 2,266 Bitcoin. Absolutely nuts. That's, that's absolutely nuts. I wish I could do that. I can do that. I, I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how much positive reinforcement and affirmations and self-help books I could do. I, I don't know that I, I will ever be at that level of uh, acqu acquiring on that level. And I guess you know, anyway. <laughs> do, okay. And people ask the question like, do, can you ever have too much Bitcoin? I, I mean, can you? I don't think so, right? Like, uh, obviously, you can't have any more than twenty-one million. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So. Um, what, what Ivan says, I, I watch Ivan's channel from time to time, a good friend of mine, Ivan on Tech. If you don't watch his, go go subscribe. Everyone watches Ivan. Guy's awesome. Um, but like, he makes a good point. He just keeps it super simple, right? Like He's like me. He doesn't really like to look at charts. He does. He pretends that he knows charts. Like he, he literally just gets out his pencil and draws all over the chart, like and smiley faces and stuff. But um, the thing to pay attention to is, is, is Tether printing USDT? And the answer is yes, aggressively. And... Uh, and then also we saw an equal amount of, of uh, printing from USDC recently too. So there's real demand um, and coming in, in in abundance. And so when all, everyone who wants to get out of grayscale gets out of grayscale, now that, you know, I don't know if they sold, sold, the, uh, uh, blah, blah, sold the Silk Road. Um, oh, we haven't got to that. Did we get to that? Uh, no. I'll get to that in a second. Um, yeah, so they printed a bunch of Tether and uh, and this is what I was referring to. So. Uh, just it, breaking news. Uh, U.S. government sends 30,170 Bitcoin worth 2 billion to Coinbase using Silk Road hacked funds. That's Ross's money. Give it back, fool. <laughs> give, give Ross his money. Well, poor guy is in jail for the rest of his life. It's horrible. I hope that, I hope that someday someone has the, the heart and respect to go pardon him and get him out of that fucking hellhole. Uh, you should be ashamed of yourself, whoever is in the U.S. Uh, 
legal system. Absolutely ashamed of yourself. Criminal. You guys are criminal. Locking up a kid for the rest of his life for building a marketplace. Are you insane? What if that was your kid? What if that was you? How would you feel? Put yourself in, the, put yourself in their shoes for a second. Like his poor mother, his poor sister, his family. Like, what are you doing? Dude, absolutely criminal. You guys should be the ones in rotting in jail, ruining people's lives like that. Disgusting. Like, it doesn't matter what your stance is on drugs or anything like that. Like, like for me, I, I believe that people should be able to do what they want, when they want with their body, however they want to. It's their body. Like, and if they want, if, if, if and, and we shouldn't be judging people, right? We should be uh, understanding that people might have uh, addictions and that's a mental illness, right? And they, and they need help. If, when, they're, when they're ready to get help, we should be there with love and respect and, and willing to help them. We shouldn't be looking at them like they're bad people, right? We all have moments of weak willpower, right? You eat too much dessert, you do too much gluttony, like you just, you know, willpower is a real thing. And like, and, uh, and yeah, they, they, people addicted to drugs for a reason. They're, they, they're good. <laughs> like people like them. Like, so, uh, you know, sorry. Like, so, but, but anyway, that's not the point we're getting carried away. But in the spirit of let's like, innovation, how could you put somebody in jail? And, and, and the alternative was that people that were buying drugs on this marketplace in a safe, environment like literally sitting down on your computer at home chilling and think about like you know that 15 18 year old teenage girl who just wants to smoke some pot with her friends and hang out and before silk road the only thing that she could do was go to the shady ass gangster dealer down on chicago harlem street or whatever and go buy a bag of crap weed off of him and you know life is in danger like literally at that point right so it was a public good because people are going to access this stuff whenever they want. Anyway, it's, I'm going off a, t a tangent, a side, side rant here, but like, really bothers me that the, the, the lack of humanity that some of these people have when they're doing these sentencing, like, do you, do you really believe he was a bad person? Like, like no. Like, you, you look at his writings, like, his, his, what he did, how people spoke about him, is a like a really kind human being. He got a little carried away with, you know, his whole Dread Pirate, right? uh, Dread Private, Dread Pirate Roberts thing. But like, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy guys. Anyway, I hope that some way, someday Ross gets out. Um, but anyway, this, these are the Bitcoin that were uh, seized from Silk Road. And apparently, uh, I, apparently they, they corrected this is only a test transaction. Um, okay, fine. But like, they're probably going to send the rest. Um, and then I said, like, uh, that I retweeted and said, um, uh, this is why America is, uh, is simply not going to make it. Uh, if you keep exhibiting these, uh, s the same ludicrous behaviors, you, all, um, you will graduate uh, with haste to the third world. Um, Bitcoin equals rapidly uh, becoming the world reserve, the only asset that, uh, that cannot be inflated. And USD is quickly on a path um, to start printing. Uh, oh, sorry, sorry, printing um, Start putting billions of dollars in notes. Uh, used to pay for half bills, like, like, oh, 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 I was, yeah, like printing billion dollar notes. You know, like on like uh, Nigeria, stuff like that. They got, or wherever, like Venezuela, like trillion dollar notes that you buy like a, p a piece of bread with like twenty trillion. <laughs> like, I think when they first started that currency system, you, it was like a dollar to buy a loaf of bread, right? And now it's trillions. That's that's the inflation that's happening. There. Like, that won't happen to Bitcoin. In fact, we're about to use show you something here. Um, and this is, um, yeah, I got my tabs mixed up. This is, um, Bitcoin is at a damn near all-time low here. Right, it looks like, actually, it is like an all-time low right here. Let's go to, let's go zoom in to time frame. Let's go all the way to time frame. Let me see here. I mean, basically, it's almost at its all-time. It's, it's almost no Bitcoin on, uh, on the um, exchanges. Um, okay, so there's a spike in the price of gold and silver, and which shows you that people um, are coming into harder assets uh, out of things like um, treasuries, out of things like uh, dollars, and into more reserves. And we know that the, the hardest asset in the world, the, the one to least, that it can't be, the no more can be made, right? Gold, silver, uh, diamonds, that you can all mine that from the earth. And there's probably a, like a, a, an abundance of it, right? And if we know that they're working on asteroid mining and stuff like that too. And you know, I know, and well, for sure, one of you guys laughed right now. I was gonna write some stupid comment, like, but no, like really, um, like my neighbor over here actually does asteroid mining, like we're working, invest in that field. So um, it's not, it's not as far away as you think. And uh, 
on one of these asteroids that are within our rocket distance. Like there's an entire like you know there's asteroids full of precious metals, right? And so, but I guarantee you, there's no asteroid <laughs> with more Bitcoin on it. It's, it just you're not gonna find it. So, it is the most scarce um, worldwide accepted asset, right? And and if it's if you can say, well, Kyle, it's not worldwide, it, it will be. Trust me, it will be because this. Because this, this is how all the global currencies of the 10 years have compared to the dollar. So Venezuelan Boliviar down 99.9%. So that means if you have like a thousand dollars, it'd be worth a penny, right? You know? And you can see the other one, Swiss, Swiss franc has held up really relatively strong versus the dollar. Uh, Belizean dollar, because it's pegged to the dollar. Um, anyway, and then these guys all in the middle over here. And then Oh wait, Bitcoin compared to the dollar, it's uh, it's up twenty two, almost twenty thousand percent compared to the dollar. Like, hello, um, and this is what the chart looks like. So normally, when you look at the Bitcoin chart, it goes like up and to the right. When you zoomed out, this is the inverse. This is the this is um, U.S. dollar and Bitcoin chart, and eventually, this chart is going to go to zero, right? Or it's going to have the same effect that ninety nine point nine nine percent below Bitcoin, and this is why. I know for a fact that Bitcoin will become the world reserve, world, world reserve asset. It's too perfect, and there's, it's, it's too late for anything else to take its place. Like, you, you know, BRICS countries can try to make their BRICS currencies, but there's too much political, uh, political ten, uh, tension, right? And no one's going to accept a universally um, unpolitical reserve. But Bitcoin is here now, and we have that. So... I definitely highly suggest that you put efforts into collecting Bitcoin, guys. I know a lot of other channels are going to tell you also where, you make all your, where, are, where you'll make all your money and that you should sell into stable coins. And while that's a good strategy, I, I, there's, I think there's nothing more of a, of a of like, like the, the best, the, the absolute best reward, risk to reward ratio is Bitcoin. Like, now, is it going to have the same kind of returns that? some other altcoin or some meme coin? No, but it also has the least amount of risk and there's a high probability that anything else that you invest into, maybe besides ETH or, yeah, Solana, it, it, even, who knows, even, who knows? Bitcoin is really the only thing that we know right now that's 99.99999% sure it's going to be around for, for the inevitable future and will be integrated into everyone's lives sooner than we think. Um, I am... I am dead set on that idea. Um, okay, narratives. We, I told them the beginning we were going to talk about narratives. Now, AI and memes have been, but look, AI is exploding now. Um, RWA is over here and uh, L2s. Um, but what is interesting here, where is it? I don't know what it is. LRT, liquid restaking protocols. Um, Oh, look at decentralized science on here. That's cool. I don't know. There was there was DeFi. It was um, oh oh I know where it's sorry wrong. Let's get a token mine share. You go to, to token mine share. Look at the the top gate. It's like uh, this one that we're gonna talk about in a second. And the maker Ave, uh, uh, Dai, uh, USTC. Like so, almost all DeFi types of things, right? And so we're gonna yeah. Also, um, top eight. Most profitable crypto uh, narratives of 2024, the ones that we've been covering the most, <laughs> memes, and uh, real assets number 20, uh, 26, and AI 222. Um, these are the ones we've, meet, we've been covering obviously the most and have no doubt the most profitable. But we also covered RWAs, Ondo, of course, like the blue chip over there in RWAs right now. Link, of course, the blue chip in RWAs. Um, and this is Athena. So, there's a lot of a lot of debate right now if this is like Luna 2.0. Look at, yeah, get 35% on your stable coin, and then the pe people are just like, yeah, fuck it, take my, ah, uh, yeah, I can't wait, give me take all my my stable coin, woohoo, let's get it, and uh, and yes, incredible backers, uh huh, Dragonfly, Arthur, there, but like, this 35% is only short term because they bootstrapped and so they're getting they're getting extra rewards right now but as the tvl and the protocol grows that will eventually come back down to like a more sustainable i think eight to ten eleven percent or something like that 
And you're saying, I know what you're saying. Well, that's still really good. I mean, my bank wants to give me 0.0025% on my, on my stable coin, <laughs> my, my, do my dollar. Okay. But you guys do realize that everybody who was getting 20% on their UST in Luna, if you guys are new to the market, that's the Luna protocol in Terra Luna, which had like $40 billion market cap. And, and, and everyone was like, yeah, Do Quan, Terra, woo. Uh, and then it just went to zero. <laughs> Is it really worth it to take your hard earned asset for 10% or even 30% take the risk? Absolutely not in my mind. This will never appeal to me. I understand that it appeals to people, right? And I'm not suggesting that you would even do this, but we are talking about the, the token for a second because it is all over the timeline. And so then, then someone might say, well, is, is it a good thing to buy right now? And look at metrics. And, and you're, you're probably going to go, well, Kyle, like, this sounds like every other, as, every other token that you talked about that is being bullish. Why are you why not buying this one? Well, a couple of reasons. I mean, look at this TVL exploding, right? $2 billion already in a matter of days. Um, and this is a price action, Athena, $1.6 billion circulating market cap and $17 billion fully diluted valuation. So it still has a lot of inflation to come. There are no, there's no more unlocks for a while. I, 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 the, my researchers helped pull up the unlock schedule, but I, I didn't do it because well, because I'm not going to do this. And so the information is out there. You can just go to crypto rank, I think, and then token unlocks and our besting, and you can find Athena if you're interested in it. But, but no, I'm not making this move. This is the, this DeFi narrative is, is, is going to evolve and, uh, and I'm not, I'm not going to play it. Now wormhole. I absolutely love wormhole. The idea, it is great. Um, let's see if we can open up this, the link here. Yeah. So. Essentially, you know how you have to like, so now, right now, we have to mint our tokens on like a chain, right? And yeah, you can, and, and if you want to be on two chains, you can mint them on two chains, but like, that's not interoperable from a, you can take a bridge and bridge your assets to another blockchain if it's EVM or something like that, EVM to EVM or whatever, Cosmos, EVM. Um, but it's not native and it doesn't, it doesn't communicate on the other protocol. That's a problem, right? That is a problem. If there was a way where we could just have one, one monetary or fiscal, and fiscal policy under one roof, so you have, say, a billion tokens max supply, and you wanted to mint them on five different blockchains, it does that for you, wormhole. So you can have you know, 200 million on Solana, 200 million on you know, Base, you know, 200 million on ETH, whatever. And it makes it all easy to do. So I can have, so I can have my tokens on Solana or Arbitrum because I like using that ecosystem. I use it often. And then if I want to connect to a, a DAP or something that's on a different chain, I can just natively use the tokens that I have that are on the other chain without having to go like using a bridge and do something like that. So very valuable. And, uh, and uh, if, if, um, if Tony, the CTO from Commonwealth was here, uh, <laughs> I, I actually thought about, sending this into the, our, our private chats uh, today. And I just, I, 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 if, if I did, oh, you guys have no idea how much you would explode uh, and they just think I was the worst person in the world because I, I'm suggesting that we <laughs> innovate. But uh, so Tony, if you watch this, I'm not suggesting it because I, I know that, but I am, <laughs> this, this, is, this is part that I always say, but I am saying that we, we should look into it <laughs> when we have the time to do it. Um, because I think that moving forward, this will be the standard, right? You, you mint on, you mint on wormhole so you can be multi-chain from day one and you don't have to worry about people using bridges, which are the big, the biggest causes for exploits in the space so far. Um, so I might, it's a very bullish wormhole from a product perspective, but am I going to buy wormhole? No. Why? It's a $2.34 billion market cap and a $13 billion fully diluted. Okay. So, I mean, where is it going to go from here? I, I don't know, but it, it, it's it's still extremely expensive. Um, I would say that uh, I would say that wormhole is a, is a more appealing out of the two, even though it's a bit more ex expensive. Because, um, well, one, I I I, I still wouldn't. I, I, I me personally, I'm not using the stablecoin yield thing. Like, I, I'm just not going to use it for me personally. Um, 
but wormhole is very useful. But what I what am I buying it now? No, why? Not because it's not a great product. It's a fucking great product. It is, but um, because I because I'm I stay in in touch now on a regular basis with the devs from Base AI and Pepe Coins, OG ones, and I I, I talk to them quite a bit. I had a call uh, for an hour and a half about philosophy and stuff like that before I made this video tonight, and like, uh, and that's not that's not why I'm telling you this because of the call tonight. I'm just, it's it's a series of patterns that they've exhibited. Uh, since they started putting out their work in 2000, like I, as far as I know, back 2016, 15, 16, when they put out the memetic blockchain, right, where Pepe used to live on. Um, anyway, so this is this is clear demonstration of ability to execute complex things in early days, like layer one blockchains, um, the the creativity of 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 that viral engagement with meme coins, um, but building some groundbreaking stuff. So. You know, based AI is building essentially like the world world AI brain, the global AI brain, right? And it's going to massively accelerate the the rate of adoption for for AI. Now, we could have a debate on whether that's good or not, but you guys are here to make money, and so that's not the place that we have this debate. Um, although it has been on my mind a lot lately. Uh, so, uh, but I'll show you why, right? Okay, so I expect, and and it's and based AI is just Right now, where it is because it's just they didn't spend money on marketing, right? I think I was the first like s larger account to talk about it and brought attention into the ecosystem. But like this thing is still grossly underpriced right now. I mean, if that, that's in, in, yeah, if compared like where 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 it will be uh, in the in the very short term. So a little bit of just logic of how I did this right here. So I fully expect. Base AI at a minimum to get on parity with Tau. On parity with Tau. So I think Tau, for example, will do at least a 5x from here. So it is at 11, let's, let's, let's call it 12 billion FTV right now. It'll get to 60, right? Minimum. I think, I think, I think all, all alts, especially not the top three, so not, not, Bitcoin, well, not Bitcoin, not Tether, obviously, not Ethereum, but... I think the rest still have a 5x minimum from here, right? So let's just assume on a conservative thing that BitTensor does a 5x, right? So that gets a $60 billion FTV. Remember, I expect BASED to be at parity at minimum with Tau. BASED is sitting at a $240 million market cap. So what happens when you do this? What happens if you say $60 billion divided by... Two hundred and forty million. It's a two hundred and fifty X. And to me, to me that seems like it, it seems programmed in. It seems math it's just like like mathematically programmed in. It just to me that that's why I that's why I, I'm not gonna look at these other things. Like they seem ridiculous to me. Just because of what I know about this project, these developers, and what they're what they're planning, and whether they're going to have some trouble in the early days with execution, like that's yet to be seen, because mainnet still isn't live yet. Mainnet will be in May, but you guys can go try the testnet right now if you're like if you know how to run those things. I don't, um, but is there, and uh, and so on the narrative alone, this thing runs right, it runs like crazy. It goes on that same kind of exponential growth that things like Axie did and everything else. So. Um, so that's, that's where I'm at right now. Like I, I I've never, and I, I did see some comments before that, oh, they, they paid Kyle to go show this. No, no, they didn't actually. Um, no, they, they, they didn't. I, one of the community members graciously offered me an OTC deal because he's a, he's, he has a huge bag cause he was a big believer and just scooped it up in, in masses in the bear market and wants to help build the ecosystem. So out of his own generous pocket, he made me a nice OTC offer, but I'm, by all means, like I would, ne I would never have done that deal if I had any intention of selling those anytime soon. They are all sitting in the the farm on stake, earning me every day a lot of base AI tokens, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um. So that yeah, I and I, I just I literally because I, I've never let's just say that by let's just say that I, I bought three times my, my largest secondary market, meaning my my non actually it's my largest 
largest liquid investment ever was Chainlink. You guys, you saw that video earlier in the year. This one was at least, it was, it was a multiples of that. Um, so, and yeah, I had, I had to sell some other altcoins that I had in my bags that were, that I, I, I really didn't want to. Um, but I, I, I've just figured that like, it makes the most sense for me. I, I don't have time to, to look around all day. I don't want to be trading all day. All day. Um, I want to find high, high conviction plays. And so what we're about to talk about here is not a high conviction play. <laughs> oh yeah, and then Pe and Pepe too, uh, Pepe Coin, OG. Um, remember they have an event coming up which will cause massive demand shock of Pepe Coin. That's why I, that, I expect this. And then, the, and then we will see the Pepening when it, when it surpasses or flips the, the fake Pepe. And this, and then you start, you see a mass exodus out of Fek Pepe to OG Pepe. And that's when it goes on and with par parlayed with a vastly reduced supply, vastly increased demand, vastly increased X plus Y equals price. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So almost done guys. Um, so someone, like I was in one of these groups today, like, like I exist in these groups and, uh, and where we just share alpha and talk shit to each other and whatever, try to keep ourselves sane, which clearly it's not working here. <laughs> um, but someone shared this one and it's it, not because it was pumping or whatever, but because it, it's fucking funny. And like, like, so I'm not saying that this, thing, this is going to go anywhere. Right. And I have, I don't have, I've never met the developer. I've never talked to him. Like I have zero deal here. And, and, and you'll actually see that like, You'll see, and, 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 and right now there's no strong metrics to suggest that like this is going viral by any means, like, which is normally the criteria that I would put down on something when I'm looking for something to park capital into. But <laughs> I can appreciate the, the culture here. Like Tucker, Rel uh, Tucker Carlson is a very, very well-known figure. And I, every time I watch him, I think, man, this guy's like a meme. Like, he's just like a... He's like super happy and smiling all the time with a great personality. Like, um, and so he, 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 now he's, I was always thought he's a meme and finally he is a meme. Let me, let me show you uh, a couple of videos of, of what convinced me to, um, my mouse just died, convinced me like, like if they keep putting out content like this, like it's going, it's, it's going to moon me. <laughs> and right now, oh, oh yeah, watch this, watch this. I'll, sh I'll show you something else really cool. So. I bought in up here. See, this is, uh, that's why I love BirdEye because you can see, uh, I connected my wallet and I show for full transparency. Like I bought the Pico top earlier today. <laughs> my friends shared at the group, then they bought it. And then I went and bought their bags. Now they, I don't know if this one they probably did dump on me, but it doesn't matter. I, 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 I like, I'm going to hold this and I'm not financial advice. Like I, there's zero indication here that this thing is going viral right now, right? Which is what I usually look for in a meme before I, I, die, I ape into it, right? So, this is outside the norm or scope of my due diligence process, but I generally want to support whoever's making these hilarious videos. Um, and I think that if they keep making them uh, and they, they nail a couple of them around the, around the right. And, and, and if you're listening to this, which I'm sure that you probably will be, Mr. Artist, Mr. Dev, like so far the videos have all only been about crypto, which I think are great for us and hilarious for us. But I think that will, what will really send this thing is when if you, you start making videos and about the situations that are like, if you really want to go viral, start making videos about things that are going on in the world that are controversial, right? Like, and, and poke fun of those satire, you know? Um, cause, cause the videos that he's made so far are great. Um, and if you guys, you guys you want to, this is, I don't think it's on this uh, sex or anything like that, but, uh, just so you know, if you, if you, if you want to try to find a token, um, again, crypto express, I, I saw you guys, a bunch of you guys followed Jess and she was so happy. Um, so I hope that you guys are getting value over there. But so she'll make those tutorials, but just real quick, here's uh, just so we all are clear, the token address ends in L6U. So you can just go to BirdEye or whatever, type in uh, Tuker, is it Ticker? T-O-O-K-R, Tuker Carlson. And uh, let's watch this. This is hilarious. Like, this is this. Welcome, degenerate shit coiners. After our little red spell and a nice green bounce, we speak with our macro expert, Michael Saylor. Welcome back, Michael. How are you feeling about the markets today? Still bullish, I presume? Of course I'm bullish. I'm a permable, big ball, hodl monster. And while crypto Twitter cries and sells, I buy, buy, buy. Wonderful. Well done on predicting the bounce. It's easy, Tooker. The numbers will go up and the scared will stay poor. Get on board while you can. 
Thanks for the insight, Michael. And remember, friends, the ticker is Tooker. So good. That's so good. Oh, he just nails these. Watch. Where's the, where's the uh, this one here? This is so good. Uh, just... Hello, everyone, and welcome to tonight's show. Today, we are joined by the one and only Dolan Tremp. It's an honor to have you, sir, and welcome to the show. Tucker, my old friend, it's so great to see you, and thank you for inviting me on this wonderful, wonderful show. I know you have the best viewers, and with the best viewers, you need the best guests. Isn't that right? I couldn't have said it any better myself, Dolan. Now let's get right to it. What has Dolan Tremp been up to these days? Well, Tooker, I'll tell you, it's been exciting. My project has been smashing all-time highs every day. It's the best project, one of a kind, <laughs> just like me. Every day I wake up and I think, what can we accomplish today? The answer is always memes and more memes. I am dedicated to bringing the best memes to the crypto space. Ah, uh, yes, memes are very important. They are a great way of showing character and camaraderie. I noticed your meme game is quite on point as well, so looks like you're still keeping promises. Dank memes, Tooker, dank memes. It's <laughs> what the people want, and who knows memes better than me? Nobody, Tooker, nobody. I listen to the people, and I always give them what they want. Well, that is based as fuck, Dolan. What other things do you have planned for the people? We have so many plans, Tucker. So many wonderful plans. First priority is getting sleepy. Joe Bowden out of the top spot. It's a matter of time, folks. Think about it. I will be attacking on all angles, interviews, campaign videos, guest appearances, talent shows. I will do whatever it takes to get Tremp as the number one meme coin on Solana. The man's convinced me. I'm adding to my bags. Thanks for joining us, Dolan. Until next time. Thank you for having me, Tooker. And remember, we will make memes great again. I mean, I don't care if my bag goes to zero. I, I'm, I'm in this for the long run. <laughs> I don't know. Without, without said, ladies and gentlemen, I am out of here. Going to bed. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.